members is sometimes harder. So, and we also thought, you know, if people are going to be passionate, they can get out and vote. I mean, all it takes is, um, and I think Sammy Bruce on the website said it's best. You know, she said, I'd rather have five well-educated board members from one district that are, are they're looking out for the whole of the whole district than dividing it up. And, you know, I, you guys know that the first few years, is it six years, Barb? By the time we filter through. You mean over through the whole? Yeah, district? through the whole, because yeah. at first it's going to be two, two, and one, and then, you know, with your rotations of those four, uh, <coughs> four year terms, I mean, it's going to, we're going to get quite a ways into it um, before it's five at large. Mm -hmm. Some, some of the same reasons that the SAC community school got rid of the districts is the same reason we picked the board members at large. SAC City, SAC Community District had it up till 1993 districts and then they voted to get rid of it and have uh, uh, members at large. So some I of the same reasons, some of their reasons were they couldn't find quality candidates to run. So within, within, the, I mean within the district, we're sub district out. Yeah. When I was and, and that, the but that, I mean, that would be really hard because I mean, it has to be in, you know, your sections, and that would probably be hard for somebody to run. And when I was on the board, we <coughs> that's when we changed it because we couldn't find people to run. Yeah. And so we went at large, and it was sectioned off. And well, sections changed. Mm -hmm. There weren't enough population. I mean. There was definite reasons, so I think it's interesting that now people <laughs> go back to that because there wasn't, we just voted on it, it was not a big deal really, but we did it because there was nobody that wanted to run for school board. Actually, it, that, um, AEA has a study that um, will the reorganization committee will present some information about at the second uh, public meeting about what a district, um, if it had been districts, what it would look like. And I think it will be very surprising to people who mm -hmm. think they don't want it because it's combinations of SAC and Wall Lake Piagra and territory. So it, um, my impression by people who talk to me about not liking the at large election is they want to make sure they have SAC people or Wall Lake Piagra and people elected. But in the study that the AEA commissioned to have done for our district, what you're going to, our district meaning East Sac County, is you're going to see big chunks of it, what would be a district that's a combination of SAC and Wall Lake View Auburn. So it was never going to be a SAC, a SAC, a Wall Lake View Auburn, a Wall Lake View Auburn, and then somebody else. And we really have to teach how people understand and see what that would look like because I think there's this picture of something that wasn't ever really going to happen either because the districts have to be equitable by population. It's by population, not and by the, the old AEA districts. Was mm -hmm. very concerned about that for us, that they thought this was the right way for the district to move, the future district, and they wanted to help support that by commissioning this um, study. So right. that will come up the 25th. But yeah. it was enlightening to us too because we kind of thought it looked like that but now it's pretty visual. And in fact, the director of the AEA just said, this is pretty clear cut, that what you're doing really does fit the needs of what the district has. John? Am I correct in thinking that that just sets the initial makeup yes. of the board and yes. the new board to make new policy? If there was a big Absolutely. effort, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, a that's 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 yeah. yeah. I think that came up at the hearing mm -hmm. uh, uh, a couple of times, that that could be something that happened. Um, with that yep. Can you put that map up? The other thing is, I, I really don't believe that unless you have pretty good support in the whole area, the new district, Sac City, Lakeview, Auburn, I don't think you're going to be elected to that board. I think you're going to have to have good support throughout. I don't, I don't think that there's going to be somebody on there who's, who's just uh, narrowly uh, directing all their efforts at one community or something like that. <coughs> that person should have a very difficult time being elected to the board. Marty, you didn't get a chance to refer. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I'm obviously poor because I was on the organization board and actually was at the meeting when we made the decision. I forget how many of us were there, John, to, to go at large. And I know Case Forsyth, though, was there at that meeting. And, and you know, she obviously said, I can't tell you what to do, but this is what I would recommend. If the AEA has a visual that you can use in your marketing, yes, Curtis. No, oh, continue. Well, if AEA has a visual that you could use in your marketing or post it as a photo or something on your Facebook or something, that might help you. Are they? Are they?
they going to reveal what those maps look like prior to that meeting? I, I think the worry is that if that those maps come out what? before that time, that without someone to explain them, because I think the plan was that that second January 25th, 25th meeting, yeah. um, mm -hmm. or at one of those two public meetings, where if someone can produce those maps in large scale and that there's some ex explanation of them. So it is, again, the take some data and then misuse it, but that's what the idea was. Right. Right. And it, it, it's all, I mean, it's it's not a sex community district and it's not a WLBA district. It's based on population. And, and I think each each one of them is Highway 20 right down the middle in the north. And then, and then at least one or two other towns in each one of the maps is divided right down the middle. So it's, it's all based on population. <coughs> We're going to continue to meet. Um, if you ever have any questions, feel free to call. Oh, sorry. No, I'll ask my call, question. Call, here, call in. You know, call any of us. You know where where we're at. Um, <coughs> we're going to be continuing to hand some flyers out. Some uh, a second one um, will be coming out um, closer to the vote. Um, if people have questions about either public hearing, we will be taking questions, but the questions need to be turned in prior. Um, I don't yeah, there might be some a small amount of time for some public uh, questions. Okay. But we'd so like to gear the questions to uh, the the uh, topic. the topics that we're addressing at that time. So we so we have the people that can answer those questions there for one thing. Are you going to have something in all the local papers posting when the meetings are and make sure have, the people know? Mm -hmm. Thank you. That they have to hand in their questions. Yeah, yes. we, we've said it. We've said it. So yeah. hopefully they all get it. But yeah. Yeah. So a reminder. And yeah. People get it. Yeah. We'll have some more. We'll have one more article. I'm sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Our goal is to try to have something weekly in the paper. I haven't been meeting that goal yet, but um, <laughs> um, hopefully as it gets, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes it's when you do it too far in advance, yeah. people forget too. Yeah. So it's that timing issue. So, but. Um, I appreciate all of your comments and and, and your support. Anybody else? I didn't hear uh, President Phillips say whether she supported cons consolidation between WLBA and SAC yet. <coughs> I said obviously I wouldn't have been helping talking to John about marketing it. Also, uh, Director Belcock didn't say whether she supports consolidation. I am for consolidation. I, I just have those concerns that I voiced and I have some good feedback. So. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Kevin, you snuck in.